Hey, it's Matt, and I've got a great discovery method that's going to help your buyers know that they need your product. This one works really, really well. I want you to use it. Okay, everybody. So I'm really excited about this one. It's one I had used previously, but I haven't really used it lately. But fortunately, my client Marcus brought it up and I'm so grateful. So thank you, Marcus, for reminding me of this tactic because it works really well and it happens in discovery. So it's going to be a good question for you to really twist the knife. Now, twisting the knife is all about making sure your buyers feel what they are missing. It makes them hurt. It makes them understand how bad their situation is. It's not a bad thing. It's not a mean thing. It's something that you do to make sure your buyers know how bad their problem is. Now, before I get to this method, make sure you're subscribed to the show. So cool that we've got so many great subscribers. I love when you guys email me or send me notes. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the cool tactics and methods I'll be sharing in the next coming days and weeks. Also, if you like this, go ahead and hit like right now. That helps me understand that this is good stuff that helps you. So what is this tactic that Marcus reminded me of? Well, when you're in discovery and you've got to get them to share their goals, you're getting your buyer to share what they're trying to accomplish, what they're hoping for and where they want to get to. Remember, we want exact goals, not just let's grow, but we want them to say, let's, we need to grow by 20%, we need to grow by 50%, we need to grow our team, whatever it is. Get exact specific goals. But what you want to do right after that is ask this question that's really going to make it easier for you to close the deal. And what you want to say is, what does it mean if you don't reach this goal? Hey, we want to grow by 40% by the end of this year. Oh, that's great. It's a good goal. What does it mean if you don't get there? Wow. Now that becomes powerful. Now they start to think about, uh-oh, what does that mean? And they start to relay to you what it is. Does it mean that the company will go out of business, that the competitors will beat them, that they won't be able to pay their workforce, or even personally, that person you're speaking to gets fired, or they get embarrassed at work, that they weren't able to accomplish something that they were hired to do? Get them in that pain, feeling the if, the if, if they don't get there, because it's going to bring a lot of fear into the equation. It's going to make them realize, I don't want that. I don't want to feel these feelings. I'm starting to feel now that anxiety, that stress. I need to get there. I need to accomplish this thing. We as a company need to accomplish this thing and get to these goals. I better have something help me do it. And now you've got them. Now you have them realizing that they need help to get there. This is a really, really powerful method. Again, the question is, what does it mean if you don't get there? What will happen if you don't reach your goals? Bang! So, so powerful. Thank you, Marcus, once again, for sharing this with me and reminding me of this. I think it's going to be really important for you to be able to use this as well. Now, once again, if you like this, please like it, hit that button down there or comment, share what you think. Is this a good tactic? Is it something you can use? Or do you have questions around other tactics in discovery or in your demo or anywhere else in the sales process? I'll be happy to answer those for you. So I hope that this really helped. Make sure you apply it and let's grow our sales.